What's up, Booyah Nation? I'm your boy, Double A Nine Skills. It's the Rota for Champions RTG Edition. I end up selling my Neymar for 225k, and you're probably like, damn, Skills, you made a lot of money. Nope, I lost 100k. Neymar sells for 325. I sold him for 225. See, Booyah Nation, at this point, I was 14 and 6, and I was really mad at my gameplay. I was mad at myself, so I wanted to blame everybody and they mama, and I wanted to blame EA, and I wanted to blame the servers, and I wanted to blame Neymar, so I rage sold my team. And then I lost 100k on Neymar because I thought I put 325, but I put 225, and I lost mad money. I pick up the boy Dembele, I pick up the boy Bai, and I still pick up one more player that was a great investment in my opinion. Smash a big old thumbs up if you're enjoying this series. Can we hit 20,000 likes for the brand new edition of Money? One to watch Money for 350. I heard too many good things about this guy in the comments down below. Y'all were raving about this guy, so I had to snatch him up. My boy Conte, Erickson, Dembele is our midfield up top. Carrasco on 10 chem because of Lukaku and Dembele. And then on the other side of Lukaku is the one, the only. One to watch, money. We are back to the BPL squad, and we can only lose five games to get Elite Three. And at this point, Elite Three is the show, is what we're aiming for. Because Booyah Nation, we did Elite One last week. Last week, one win away from top 100. And also, Booyah Nation on my main account, I can tell you, I did stay top 100 this week. 36 and four was enough to keep me in the hundredth position. That's right. 100th position position so yes we're top 100 by staying 100th my boy Monty gets his debut goal puts it into the back of the net and oh man we have a good conversation today it's a real good conversation in my opinion because yes I just told you I got top 100 on my main account and Booyah Nation I don't care if you're a pro player watching this video I don't care if you're a constant top 100 player I don't care if you're an elite elite two elite three a gold one a silver one I don't care what kind of player you are what you need to do is look at yourself in the mirror, look at your gameplay and say, what is wrong with my gameplay? What do I struggle at? Is it corners? Is it passing? Is it shooting? Is it defending? Because I suck at defending. My defense is mediocre at times. You don't believe me? I was winning this game 2-0. I end up, the guy comes back and ties it 2-2, and I end up getting a late goal with the boy Mani, who's going to give us our first victory of the game of this episode, and also give us our first victory with him on the team. So shout out to Mani for giving us a big, big victory and getting us closer to that elite. So, Booyah Nation, as I said on my main account, we get top 100, but the four games I lost was strictly because my opponent was able to defend better than me, I had mad shots, I didn't score, and my opponent goes down with one shot and wins the game. And that's the four games I lost. And this, to me, Booyah Nation, is something that I need to fix. See, because as you watch this gameplay, I am all right attacking. I'm pretty good offensively. I mean, I can score against the best of the best players. I've played against FIFA pros. I've played against a lot of good players. And I'm able to create chances against these people. The problem is I'm not able to defend these people. Carrasco trying to give us a massive victory. Still doing his thing even beside Mani and Lukaku. I send Lukaku through and Lukaku misses, but it's going to get a header that's going to save the day. Now, I'm only comfortable in FIFA Booyah Nation when I'm up by two or three goals because I know I'm going to suffer a goal. If I'm winning 3-0 Booyah Nation, I'm still not comfortable in FIFA because I truly am not comfortable with my defense. So that's why you see so much like in this game right here that you're watching right now. I continue to go for goals. I continue to try to outscore my opponent because I feel like I'm kind of like I'm one of those players that I'm gonna shoot out. When if if I was a BPL team, you would have to like you would you would know that every time you watch me, every time you put my game on the, on the weekend, I'm gonna score a lot of goals, but I'm gonna suffer a lot of goals. And that's the type of team I am. I have no defense. I'm all about a shootout. And that's why on my main account, I've been trying to play the 4-3-3 defensive and the 4-2-3-1 because I need to find a way, Booyah Nation, to not suffer goals. And I know you're gonna be like, well, skills. You've done 38 and two. You've done 37 and three. You've been top 100 multiple times, monthly times. Multiple the time weekly time so many times why are you changing stuff if it ain't broken well it is broken because I went from getting 37 and 3 38 and 2 to 36 and 4 so I've gone backwards on this account I was 35 and 5 and now we're struggling to get elite 3 so I've gone backwards and the reason I've gone backwards is because my defense has got worse my offense is still great my defense has got worse and when I say great I don't mean great I mean it's all right so Right here, I get matched up against a fantastic opponent. His name is Filthy T6. This is not the Filthy that was down at Miami with me, but it is one of his close friends. I actually FaceTimed this one. Uh, when, we were in, when we were in Miami, Filthy was at, in, in, in the upstairs thing, the player lounge, chilling before we went to go play the Miami Regionals, and he uh, FaceTimed this friend that I'm playing right here. So shout out to the homie if he's watching the video. Uh, I actually FaceTimed him and got to talk to him. They're, they're both viewers of the channel. Now, with that being said, Booyah Nation, I've been practicing against, against Filthy. Filthy is a pro player that was down in Miami. He did 38-2 this week. 
weekend. And today I spent a couple games practicing against him and also practicing against the homie kid, the guy that beat me 5-2 at regionals. Why? Because I am trying to be better defensively. I'm trying to figure out my flaws. And this is what I tell you. It's easy, Booyah Nation. It's easy to blame EA. It's easy to blame Neymar. It's easy to blame the team. It's easy to blame the servers. It's easy to blame everything. But it's hard to blame yourself. It's hard to look in the mirror and say, this is what's wrong with me. But no, Booyah Nation, this is what's wrong with me. Because if Filthy didn't make a mistake right here and give the ball straight over to Lukaku, we probably would have lost another game. Do you know why? Because I can't defend. Because I leave too many gaps. Because I slide too much. Because I give my opponent too much possession. Because I turn into my, de my defenders at the wrong time. And these are things that I've been watching my gameplay back and I really, really want to fix it. There's going to be a game that comes up in just a minute that showcases so much of what is wrong with me. But if you watch these back, if you go watch yesterday's video, the last Road to Glory video, if you watch how many leads I blow, this is my problem, and it's okay to admit what's wrong with you. Look at Monty, Monty with the precision, precision, the precision, I can't even speak, with the beautiful dribbling. I can't speak right now. I'm sorry, guys. And Carrasco finding the back of the net. Now, I end up missing one of these guys' goals, but as you can see, I was up 1-0, and uh, literally moments later, okay, I'm up 1-0, and eight minutes into the game, he ties it 1-1. 39 minutes of the game, he's up 2-1. I forget to put his goal. I'm really sorry about that. My boy Carrasco turns on the Jets right here, and he's looking for a pass. I see a couple passes, and that's fine. Lukaku, I hit him, and Lukaku can't finish because of a bad touch. So after that, because I didn't take my chance, and this is the type of player I am, this shows the type of player I am right here. If I don't take my chance, I'm going to lose the game. And I didn't take my chance with Lukaku. Luckily, Carrasco is going to get us back in the game with a great pass to Gareth Bale, who puts it into the back of the net. Gareth Bale is still our super sub off the bench. We move on to late in the game. 90th minute, Conte looking for something. He finds the boy, Marcos. Marcos looking for something. He finds Conte, who finds Carrasco, who puts it into the back of the net to tie the game in the 90th minute. That is fantastic. And you know what's even more fantastic? Carrasco in the 94th minute finds a pass, bottom post, money! You think we've won. 94th minute, I find the back of the net. I hit the post in the 118th minute. I want you to watch me panicking. Get ready to see how I mess this up. Dembele's running at me. I turn to Erickson. Why do I slide right here? I don't know. I turn to Smalling. Why do I slide right here? I don't know. I win the ball back with Bailly. That was the end of the game. But Smalling, because I slid, gave away a foul. This is bad defense. I give away a foul, which is questionable here. But I give away a foul. He wins a free kick, okay? My defense again, 120th minute. He's going to find a beautiful pass here. I didn't think about that pass. He finds the boy Smith. Who Nelson Smith, the Benfica man, sends the ball into the smallest man on the pitch. And Conte ties the game in the 120th minute because I gave away a foul. This Booyah Nation is not good defense. And this Booyah Nation is why I deserve this L. I'm going to lose on penalties because you guys know I suck at penalties. And I take another loss, which is loss number seven or eight at this point. You can only lose 11. And I'm okay to sit here and tell you guys, I know why I'm losing. It's okay, man. I suck defensively. And people in the comments can say it as well, man. I'm not good defensively. It's my biggest flaw. It, when I went down to regionals against Kid, I gave up five goals. And then I only gave up one goal in the next game. And then the, the following game, I gave up no goals. So I'm, I'm not... I'm not there defensively yet. When when a game goes bad, it goes bad for me. I was up in this game 4-3 with a little bit of time left, with a minute left, and I end up giving away a stupid foul because I slid in, all because I couldn't keep my composure. So that's what I'm saying, Booyah Nation. Take a step back, look at your gameplay, see what's wrong, see what's going on, and see if you can fix it, man. Real quick to change the conversation for just one second as Erickson tucks in a beauty. My boy Monty, we could actually profit on Monty, man. That could be a massive investment, man, a big investment because he actually scored a goal and assist against Arsenal. Now, is that going to get him an inform, an 88 rated inform? I don't think so, but it's a possibility he does because a goal and assist against a big team like Arsenal in such a big game could possibly, just maybe, give this man an inform. And if it does, that'll be awesome. If it doesn't, then it is what it is. But you never know, man. I bought him before the game even took place. I bought him all the way back on Saturday. Or was it Friday? Maybe it was even Friday when I bought him. It could have been Friday. So I bought him way before the game even took place. So if he does get an 88-rated card, then your boy might just end up profiting on the boy Monty, which would be absolutely fantastic. But either way, Monty is doing his thing for us right now. So I'm not even thinking about selling him. Up next, we get matched up against a sick team, man, right here with the boy Suarez, the boy Iniesta. We're seeing a lot of great teams, but I still expect to get these Ws, man. I want to get the wins. I want to get... It's hard to go from Elite 1 and barely get elite it really hurts man and it's not because i think i deserve elite that i'm a good player it's that it just it sucks man anytime in life right let's say you worked for something let's say you're playing you're 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 playing 
uh, you know, high school football, and you, you scored a hat trick, and, and you scored a hat trick three games in a row, and you're feeling good, and then you go into your following game after scoring three hat tricks in a row, and you don't even get a goal. It, it, it starts to hurt you, and then you go into the next game, you don't even get a goal. Yo, you're, you're only as good as your next performance. That's, that's a good saying, right? You're, you're only as good as your recent performance, and my recent performance is not looking good. It's a lot of losses, and I got to sort something out. And again, I know people always say, well, you've done good before. You've done great this. Yo, just because, like, you know, just because Jay-Z puts out a platinum album doesn't mean the next album it's okay for him not to go platinum. In his head, he wants to go platinum. And I really wanted to get Elite One again on this account and really push for top 100, and I choked it. And I choked it in a very bad way. We took a massive step backwards. Was the team I played with, was I not comfortable? Yes, I wasn't comfortable with them. I wasn't comfortable with Sergio Ramos in the back. I wasn't comfortable with a lot of my team. I wasn't comfortable with Neymar. I wasn't comfortable with a lot of stuff, but it's no excuse. I still should have got the job done and I failed you guys. And I do truly apologize for that because I expect, I know you guys expect some good, decent gameplay. Not good gameplay, but some decent gameplay. And I kind of failed it. One thing I can say is Monty's kind of doing his thing. What an assist to Carrasco here to make it 1 1. And this guy was actually hella good, man. So. A very solid player we were playing right here. Look at this here, man. I stepped in with Bayi and he's through with Dybala and he scores. And it's all because I stepped, I, I turned into to, to Eric Bayi. I just I just wasn't defending well. Mani has to save the day again when he gives it off to Carrasco. And Carrasco still doing Carrasco type things, man. I told you guys this guy is a beast. We've played him in three different teams and he continues to score in every single type of team. So big ups to Carrasco. Right here, the legend holding off my boy. Smalling, Bayi steps in for the tackle, misses it. Marco steps in for the tackle, misses it. And Salah tucks it in. I mean, the, the the defense is literally embarrassing. As I was editing this back, I was like, man, this is just embarrassing. This is like, this is absolutely embarrassing. Now, I didn't defend this bad on my main, my main account because maybe when you're playing the 80 games, I'm trying to force stuff. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. I don't know. But either way, it's no excuse, man. Your boy did not play good. We get matched up against a fantastic team with William and then Neymar and a lot of great teams we saw this weekend. Still no excuse. We got to be getting the Ws. Now, Booyah Nation in the comments down below, let me know what you're struggling with, man. Is your defense? Is it scoring? A lot of people struggle with scoring. I get those comments a lot. Skills, how do you score so many goals? I do a lot of drills. I do finesse shots. It's all about it's all FIFA is all about angles. I know that sounds really stupid, but a lot of it's about angles, man. Certain angles is a guaranteed goal. Right here, Monty, it's a goal. That's a goal. That's just the angle for a finesse shot. If you're right there and you can drop a finesse, that's a goal, man. That's usually 99.9% a .9 goal. Monty tucked a beautiful one. And once again, Lukaku, same spot. Let it fly, man. There's just angles in FIFA where you know. And you this is practice makes perfect, man. The more you play the game, the more you're gonna find out the angles. You just gotta let it fly. Right here, low driven, always a goal. You gotta find the angles, you gotta play the angles, play the angle game. Up four nil on this game we're gonna go ahead and suffer a goal because it's only right you know we don't know how to keep clean sheets it's not something we do here on this channel well so as you can see we go down uh for we win the game 4-1 we are getting pretty close to getting 29 wins which is our goal now i am gonna skip a couple games here because i don't want the episode to be too damn long on you guys um usually i could fit 20 games in to one episode for you guys cram it in but the problem is, Booyah Nation, I had to score a lot of goals to beat my opponents, and a lot of goals were being scored on me, which makes each game longer, which makes each highlight game of each game longer. Uh, I get matched up against this guy here, and you, you look at his team. LOL is the name of his team. He has a bunch of non-rare goals. He has one red, one purple. It should be a walk in the park. The only problem is we're going to go down first, bro. Walk in the park, these nuts. He puts it into the back of the net. Going up 1-0. Lukaku finds a good pass to Dembele, then finds Conte, then finds Crossco, the back of Dembele, who finally misses, and Conte there to put it in so thank goodness for that like i said man i just i have to outscore my opponents to beat them otherwise i'm just gonna lose the game we proceed to carrasco doing carrasco type things i got that angle you already know right there edge of the box why not hit that finesse man big goal from the boy carrasco and guess what leave it up to me against a non-rare team to go 2-2 a disgusting display of defense over the top got me right there i'm in the box with my boy Monty, and Monty's like you know what let me get this Monty puts it into the back of the net Monty scoring a lot for us i hope we make profit on this guy it would be amazing we proceed to erickson top of the box you already know when i get that top of the box how many goals have we seen like that man big goal right there i don't understand four three i was up four two Lukaku, thank goodness, man. 5-3, we're going to get the W here. It was a very, very close game. I actually thought we were going to end up losing this one. But Mani has been good for me, guys. I'm going to be honest with you about Mani. 
His finishing at times is a little bit shaky. I'm not the biggest fan of his finishing, I'll be honest with you. We take a look at the team real quick. I want to show you the, sub, the, the bench that I have. I got the boy Renato Sanchez and Gareth Bale. This game here, guys, this isn't something about defending. Obviously, my defense wasn't on point. A team like this is a fantastic team. I don't think the game comes down to team, but for you to beat a team like this, because it's such a strong team, you got to be well defensively. That's kind of an unlucky goal. It's off of a rebound, and this is a very, very good player. I believe he's a top 100 player, if not a top 12 player. I've seen his gamer tag a lot. It's FIFA, Xbox, FIFA for Xbox or something. I want to say he was down at regionals with us. I'm not sure. Or maybe he was at the New York tournament. I'm not exactly sure, but I think this guy is a pro. We proceed right here. He's going to find the back of the net again. Defensively, just not in a good place, which means you are going to get smacked, and that's what happens. 3-0, absolutely smacked as we go into the next game. Now, we are very close to not being able to lose any more games. Otherwise, we're not going to get elite. And that's exactly what it comes down to. Matter of fact, my last game had to be a win. Otherwise, we don't get elite. So, massive tension. 1-0 victory, finally. I score a goal, and I don't suffer. And Booyah Nation, I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. I want to be the type of player that when I put the ball in the back of the net, I know I'm not going to lose. That's it. When I hit the back of the net, I know that I'm so good defensively that I'm so good at holding the ball and possession and playing good FIFA that I feel so good that I'm just not going to lose. That's where I want to be. That's how good of a defender I want to be. And right now, when I get a goal, I have to go look for more. Because right here, look at this. I was winning. 1-1. One, one. Just defend. 2-1. Just defend skills. Just defend for once in your life. It's so frustrating to watch it back. Good pass to Monty. Monty finds the back of the net. Let's make it exciting, man. No, let's not make it exciting. He steps up with Gareth Bale and he tucks it in. 3-2, we lose. And that was the last game we could possibly lose. Now let's fast forward just a little bit. So right now we are 24 wins with six losses. We jump into this game right here. This, 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 this could be win number 25. All right, we cannot lose no more, right? Because... Actually, we can still lose two more. I think we could, wait, where were we at? I think we can still lose two more at this point. Dembele finds a ball into the middle. Carrasco's gonna miss it, but the rebound's gonna hit off Fizz guy and go into the back of the net. I get lucky, we're up one nil. Again, up one nil, but moments later, Crespo, goal. Damn, I was bad defensively, yo. Let's just hope we can get elite and get into next weekend because I want to forget this weekend as quickly as possible. Lukaku finds the back of the net to make it 2-1. Guys, as embarrassing as this gameplay is, and I know a lot of people watch these videos, and I love you guys to death. Am I embarrassed to show you guys this? Yes and no. I'm embarrassed because, yo, like, what is this gameplay? But number two, I'm, I'm not embarrassed because it's, it's nice for you guys to see that this happens to the best of us. I had a bad weekend. I want to I wanna, I wanna sweep this under the carpet, and I want to move on to next weekend, and I want to come back bigger and better. With five games left, we have to win four of them. We can only lose one of them. Let's make it exciting, right? Let's jump into this bad boy and make it as exciting as possible. Well, I can tell you... This right here is the final game. I lost one. I won three. We step into the final game. He goes up 1-0. Oh, my gosh. I come down. I score with Lukaku. This is for Elite 3. He shoots with Del Piero. He's up 2-1. I come right back after that, and I'm seeing it with Mani. I find the boy Carrasco. I hit it over to Lukaku. He finesses 2-2. He comes down? Nah, just kidding. It's my turn. Nice freaking find. Dembele, excuse me, Bailly in the box, puts it into the back of the net. And then Mani in the 51st minute to Shakur. Elite three into the back of the net. We win it 4-2 against a fantastic team. He's going to rage quit, which gets us Elite three. Pressure off the shoulders because at least we get good rewards. It was a bad weekend. But I'm not going to discourage myself. I'm going to get back into Division 1. I'm going to get back on that horse. And I'm going to find a way to get top 100. I'm going to find a way to get back to Elite 1. I'm going to find a way to bring y'all some good gameplay. So I'm sorry for skipping a few games. But you saw the episode was already really long. Um, I can tell you that the following game after when I had those last five games. The following games I took it. No. I won the fifth game. Then I lost the fourth one. So the last three games, I had to win all three. And you guys saw how it played out. I won them all. That last game being very difficult. 29 wins got us to top 100 at the time. But we definitely didn't stay there. We got Elite 3. We'll take it. It's a bad weekend for us. I'm not saying getting Elite is bad. I'm just saying going from Elite 1 down to Elite 3 is a little bit difficult to handle. Uh, but defensively, we were bad. But at least we got to the Elite. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit a thumbs up. Hit a thumbs up if you believe I can pull it back next weekend. I hope you guys did enjoy this, man. Big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Sorry for the bad defense. But I'm going to get it right. I'm going to get it right. Get it tight. Get it right. Get it right. Get it tight. I'll see you soon, baby. Booyah. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. How's the Booyah Nation doing, man? I hope you guys are having a tip.
terrific weekend league. I hope y'all are all top 100. Leave a little spot for me, maybe just kind of, sort of. We're jumping into the weekend league once again. Neymar Zito, my boy Gareth Bellarino, Ibora, Casemiro, the boy James Rodriguez, Sergio Ramos, a new addition. So we did pick up some new additions. Neymar Zito, Sergio Ramos, we try to beef up the team that got us 30. Six. Nope. Take it back. 35 wins last weekend. Now, Booyah Nation, the reason I love this series, as a matter of fact, while you're here watching, can you please smash that thumbs up and make your boy feel a little bit better? Because what you guys are about to witness, I need your help. I need you, Booyah Nation. I'm not in a good place. I'm not feeling good about this one, man. I love you guys. Please smash that thumbs up to make me feel better. Right here, guys, I was beasting and feasting. I was actually dominating that guy, and the game disconnected, but it disconnected at nil-nil. Now, I was 100% sure I was going to beat that guy because I had like 10 shots in the first like 20 minutes I just felt good when it was like first 15 minutes whatever it was I felt good I knew I was gonna get a win that I felt